His dreams are ruthless. They're completely ruthless. They do not care <laughs> what your little ego and all its little ego illusions want to think about you and your life. They're pretty ruthless. And I, I, I like the imagery of a stone pillow. I mean, my pillow has often felt very stony when I've woken up. When I have been faced, it's sort of Jeremy is saying with regard to, say, psychotic disorders or autistic disorders, you know, you're faced with the imagery and it doesn't matter kind of what you think or feel about it. That is what it is. There's this, as you sort of see, you know, framed in this particular story, there is the, I am the Lord. You're like, there's this announcement. And, um, you know, I think Jacob's a holy person in this tradition because he has the capacity to open himself up to that revelation and respond to that fully. And I feel like we're faced with that every night, in a way. This is, you know. this is not a story about a single event that happened a long time ago. Right. This is a story about what's going to happen to every one of us when we go home tonight and go to sleep. Because each one of us in a certain way, if you want to say it this way, is the house of God. I mean, that's what I believe, and I think that's all. And most of us know it not. <laughs> most of us know it not, or forget it, you know, I think in the course of everyday life. But certainly everyone is here tonight, and certainly at Sophia University, because there's an awareness of our participation in divinity. Each one of us is the house of the Lord. And we get these revelations. One of the primary ways we get these revelations nightly is through our internal imagery that's cast up in unconsciousness that we call a dream.